I had the wrong earbuds in. I had my phone earbuds in and not my computer earbuds. That's a little silly. Uh, <laughs> okay, you weirdos, how's everybody doing? <laughs> the day before Thanksgiving, are you at all feeling ready for it? Um, we are, we're pretty ready. We're keeping it super simple, but we're totally doing uh, favorite foods. Hi, Jan. How are you? Are you doing favorite foods tomorrow? Did you get your shopping done? Oh, we're all good. So I, I don't even want to go out. The lines are terrible. <laughs> What's that? Hi, Sarah. Doug from weird Iowa. Iowa is weird. Y'all are weird. Exhausted after yoga. Well, good, Sarah. Good for you. How are you doing? Hey, Yuri. Uh, hi, William from the Netherlands. Awesome. Hey, John. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, David. Shopping favorite foods. We're doing, hi, John. We're doing, Um, I made this weird broccoli dish that turned out really good. So my my son and his girlfriend are vegetarians. So we're doing that for sure. Oh, good. I'm glad you do. You signed up for Botswana, the Botswana chat thing. Actually, do I? Yeah, I have a meeting on that soon. I better be thinking about that. Uh, cold north. Yeah, it's nice today. Really nice. I was sitting out front with my cat. Very nice out. No Thanksgiving, Gavin. Where are you? <laughs> Are you in the U.S. or you're somewhere? Oh, in the U.K. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to do that then. So we all kind of have to frame Thanksgiving in our own ways. You can still have a thankful, you could have a purposeful and thankful weekend, right? You can just make that something that you do. I'm making baked apples, Dan. I am going to do that. Do you do tofurkey, David? I made one for my sister one time. Um, I think she liked it. Hey, City. Okay, my day's okay. A little tired. Broccoli. And it was good. Lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. Because and she, I put broccoli, mushrooms, onions. I, put a, I make it a little spicy. Um, lots of cheese and... It's definitely not a low fat dish. <laughs> I like I like a little bit of spice in my food. Um, but I'm brining my turkey. Are you guys gonna do that? Any of you, you Americans, any of you guys? Um, yeah, I'm doing I'm, I make homemade whipped cream with a little bit of stevia in it because I can't have sugar. Oh yeah, but, oh yeah, that's good. And then I do put in a little bit of alcohol whiskey into my apples. And then it's they're nice and oh, I love cheese too. We have some good cheese. I picked up some great cheese, expensive cheese. You know how you spend a little more money because it's uh huh. The corn I like corn. They're very good, actually. I can't have them now, but I because I'm uh, turns out I'm gluten intolerant. I think I got I don't know something shifted in the body. So where do you think putting cheese on apple pie came from? Because that's a, I think that's super weird. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about it yesterday and we put, I mean, we, we, have, we like apples with cheddar cheese because that's a nice combo. But why do we put that on our pie? <laughs> I think vanilla ice cream on warm apple pie is the way to go. That's just me. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm not fond of the smoke flavor, Mark. You know, what's interesting is like once I had, I got pregnant and had my son, I've never been able to do smoky again. For some reason, my, my, my taste changed and it's never come back. They said, oh yeah, it'll come back. Never did. So yes, yes, it's popular. It's popular here too, putting cheese on, on, no, they put cheddar cheese, Sarah, on, on apple pie. Isn't that fucking weird? I love cheese. Don't get me wrong. I love cheese. But putting it on my apple pie? Whatever. Mm -mm. A colonial thing, Doug? Maybe? Mm-hmm. 
I, I, I do, do reserve the right to, to eat my cheese separately. I know, Sarah, it's terribly weird. I love like, I love warm cheese things. I love a good fondue. I put apples in fondue. That's awesome. Cheese pie. <laughs> That's kind of a big brie, isn't it? A lot of times they put they put brie into um, into a like a phyllo or a dough and bake it. That's really yummy. Yeah, I can't eat it anymore though. Marmalade and cheese together and turkey sandwiches. That sounds good. Have I tried it? Of course I've tried it. <laughs> Corsica. Oh, I'd love to. Maybe next time. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we're we're gonna do a, like a cheese course after, like a little later. Cheesecake is great. Yum. Mm mm mm. Yes. Yum. 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 Yeah, I'm sure there's great people can make all kinds of wonderful things. Just, you know, put in the plain old cheddar cheese on a top of a apple pie. Mm -mm. Not my thing. But but ice cream, vanilla ice cream on warm apple pie. <gasps> Made a quiche with apples and Swiss. Mm. Actually, that sounds very good. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it funny? We can get off on these topics. So we're doing that. We're doing, um, and and then my boyfriend wants um, asparagus. So I'm going to do a turkey and asparagus and the and this casserole, broccoli casserole, because it's not American if it's not casserole. If you don't have a casserole. <laughs> and then we're doing the baked apples, and then we're doing um, a pumpkin thingy. <gasps> yeah, ricotta cheesecake. Yeah. Cannolis, oof. Mm -hmm. So, um, have you signed up for Sunday? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday is the Africa Botswana uh, free. I don't know what you call it. What should we call it? Webinar sounds so blah. sounds like work. It's not. Um, it's not a webinar, and the, it there. It's just informational. It's like a little. It's a travel log. It's a travelogue with me and my South African uh, friend who is a ranger and a guide, um, and she's amazing. So we're going to talk about Botswana, and she's got pictures to show us. And we'll just talk. It's probably be like 45 minutes long. won't be that long. And then I'll send you also a, a, a replay if you can't watch live. But the other thing is if you sign up for that, I'm, you'll go into my Africa list. And when, when, um, when the world opens back up, we will plan on, we'll plan it and you will be the first to know. Those on that list will be the first to know about the trip. Because I only take like, I think we can take 12 people maximum. Maybe it's 10. And um, and you'll have the pricing and you'll get the early bird and all of that stuff. So that's why I would love for you to sign up if you're interested at all. Uh, my trips are expensive. Going to Africa is expensive. That's true. It just is. <laughs> Sorry. But you don't go cheap on a on a safari. It's just not worth it. So um, do sign up for that, and um, I can. The links are all are are pinned to the Facebook page, the Patricia Tallman page. There, the the uh, place to sign up is on the first post. It's pinned, and um, I also want to tell you about the artist page. I forgot to. I think I I forgot to mention this. Um, yesterday there's, we're putting up on the B5 events.com, um, page, uh, just, just a whole thing just for artists for the holidays. So that if you want to buy an unusual gift, um, it just takes you straight we're, we are getting nothing out of it. It goes straight to the artist page and you can buy from an artist, something unusual and you're supporting, you know, small businesses, artists. So I thought that was cool. Uh, and if you're interested in being a part of that, like having your page, your your art listed, then um, email us at pattalmannewsletter at gmail.com. Um, and there's three things I need. I need an image for your store. I need the link for your store. And I need a like two sentence description of what your store is. So people want to come by. Okay. So do that. And then Armin Shimmerman is on December 12th. Um, 
he's going to, we're going to do, we're going to take volunteers. I'll send you an email after you sign up. I'm going to send you an email. And those who want to can read for Armin and he's going to coach uh, folks on reading Shakespeare. So I think it's going to be super fun. You don't have to be an actor or anything. You just, how do you read and interpret Shakespeare? I thought it's way more fun if we're interactive with that. So um, definitely check that out. So yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, Victoria, it's super expensive. Africa is expensive. I, you just don't go to, you don't go to places like that where, where if it's not safe. So I don't even just mean safe because of animals, but of course there's that, but safe for food and drink and all of that. Cause getting sick and I have done that. I have gotten very sick. Um, I got sick in India and I got sick in Bali. You know, it just, it takes, it takes all the fun out of it. Now you're not able to go out and do stuff because you're sick in bed and that's awful. So I, you know, to make sure that everything is first class and you're completely safe, this takes money. Just takes, you know. Oh, it's not, Jan. It's not at all. Too unstable with big troubles. No, Jan, it's not. Maybe, maybe back during apartheid it was a thing, but it's not anymore. What it's open to everybody, Red. Um, yeah. What I can do is in the Patreon page, I can just post the link so you don't even have to sign up if you don't want to. Um you guys check out my Patreon page. It's another really cool thing. Um, to just, <laughs> I'm like incoherent today. I don't know. Yeah, I have my coffee drink. So I made, I called it a coffee drink because instead of coffee, because I put um, powdered mushrooms in it. It's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> I'll try anything. Yeah, Botswana is great. South Africa is safe. It's not about it's not about the political issues. It, there's you know it's it's just it's about um, being in the bush safely so you don't get eaten by a lion. I th this is an absolute true story. I have a friend whose daughter got murdered by a lion on a safari. A friend I went to college with. Not kidding. She was a cinematographer on Game of Thrones and went to South Africa on a safari for. Um, a, ph a photography safari and her driver didn't keep her safe. Uh, yeah. So this is what I mean. You don't, you don't fuck around with shit like that. <laughs> so yeah. Powdered mushrooms. It's, um, Oh, it doesn't Mark, it, you know, and, and Oh, thank you Avery for posting my Patreon page. So on the Patreon page, and here's another thing I wanted to, this is really what I wanted to talk to you about today. Besides I want, I do want you to sign up. I'm going to be putting out a new fan newsletter uh, email from me. So I don't know if you're on my email list, but please get on that email list because that's the only way I can really be sure to reach you and, and give you discounts on things or give you a heads up on things because the social medias don't, don't share stuff enough. So please, you know, if, if you don't like it, just delete it, you know, but get on the list. And eventually there's going to be something that you're glad you're on the list for. So I do. I'm doing a lot more free stuff. So, you know, I do need you to buy tickets to, to support these efforts, the online stuff, meaning the, you know, like the Armin Shimmerman thing. I mean, I'm supporting artists all the time and they, they get paid very well and they should be paid very well. And they're sharing their hearts and souls with you. So please buy a ticket to Armin Shimmerman and um, to the next things I got. to. Uh, uh, that's my next task today is to get my guests locked in for January and February. Um, but the, the other thing I want to talk to you about, which is my Patreon page, because I want to do, I work out every day. I'm always working on what's the healthy next choices for my body, you know, taking care of ourselves and how do we, maybe you want to trim down a little bit, or you just want to eat more healthy and have better energy. Uh, and I thought that going into January, it would be a great time to do more of that with my Patreon page. So I was wondering, are, would you be interested? Like, I, and I'm not going to tell anybody what to do, but I thought what we could do is um, share ideas and events. Thanks again, Avery, so much. Um, if you, if I, if we do like when I work out, I could turn on my live stream 
So we're working, you know, you could work out along with me doing whatever you want to do. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I box. So you may not want to kickbox. That may not be your thing. <laughs> and I do do try to do yoga every once in a while. Um, and then um, uh, just supporting each other uh, on on our journey. It's it's really interesting. So, you know, we human beings need support. We do. We need community and we need support to stay on track. Even if you're really dedicated and you're good at at, at doing like I'm really good at working out every day, but don't believe me, I have a, a wonderful workout partner that I've been working out with for 15 years and he's older, much older than I am. But we meet in the gym and we work out. It's just knowing that he's there and waiting for me makes me show up more. During COVID, we're not, I'm working out at home. But yeah, we could, you know, we could, uh, oh, I would never do that to anybody weigh in. I don't think that we, that the number means anything unless you want it to, that's up to you. But that this is showing up in two separate streams on book face. I don't know what book face is. You mean Facebook? Yeah, yeah, it's over on, on B5 events and it's on my page and it's also on YouTube. I know, I upgraded. Hi, Lester. I was looking for your address a long time ago. That's so funny. Hi, Lester. Good to see your your name. Uh, be fun. It's kind of like meditations or writing. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, I just think we should do more of that. And I need to figure out how exactly I want to do it. But I, I would love to have you. Right. You don't need Thanksgiving in France. Yes. I think that that in general is just just being being more um, aware of what you're grateful for and being in touch with some people who might need you to be in touch with them. You know, do you have friends that maybe you could reach out to, you know, and just see how they're doing? <laughs> I I got offered a part in a in a short film and to, but it shoots December fifth and I said no. Hmm. I wish I could. But I just can't. I just don't think with this COVID shit that that's being responsible. And I know that we all need to get back to work, but it's just it's just not a good idea for me. You know, it's kind of hard to turn down stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, hi, Joanna. It's OK. I'm all right. All right, Sarah. Thanks, honey. Nice to see your name. OK. Uh, Oh, uh, my Penny Lane stuff is I, I, I brought in a bunch of um, stuffed animals for the Penny Lane kids and they're starting to arrive slow but sure boxes are being dropped off. So that's the other thing. If you want to donate to Be a Santa, be a Santa org. It's really helpful. You know, we're, we're getting closer. I think Heather posted on the page. Um, what does it say? Anybody know right now about what where we're at with the page uh, with our fundraising? I know she's going to post something by Sunday on our fundraising. Yeah, I don't think she's posted it yet. She's on, I put her in charge. She's smarter than I am. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to, Dwayne. It's supposed to be on two channels. You know why, Dwayne? Because it's... Um, it, it kicks off the Facebook algorithm and helps us. So if there's shares going over there, we need that page to get a little more active. It's a brand new page. So we need it to have a little more activity and uh, kick up the likes. Be sure you've actually liked the pages, guys. That's super helpful too. If you actually click like on the page, it's no skin off your nose and it really helps us. It's beasanta.org, Mark. Thank you so much for asking. Beasanta.org. I think we're close. We we need about twenty four hundred bucks more. When we hit ten thousand, then I get another ten thousand from a, a, an anonymous generous donor. I think it's a choice on there, Manny. You can make a anonymous. You can choose anonymous. Uh, I like it. It takes a you know what? It takes a long time for the the for me to see the comments. I don't know why they. Likes generate income. Hmm. I don't know about that. Not for me. Thank you, Lester. You're very sweet. Thank you, Edward, for posting that. But it does, you know, what it does help is us to, I don't, I don't have like ads on my page or anything. I don't know what you mean exactly, Dan. 
generate income, but it does help me reach more people so that they can know about what we're doing, which is very helpful, right? I mean, I, I want you all to know about Armin Shimmerman on December 12th, and uh, you can go to b5events.com and it's right there, tells you about it. We're going to have an hour open house before he shows up just for us to hang out. You misspoke. <laughs> it's okay, Dan. <laughs> I wish it did generate more income. Uh, the Patreon page helps me with that. It supports, it helps me to have enough money to pay for all the apps I'm paying for. Like, like my, uh, my Zoom is between $150 to $350 a month because of uh, the activities that we're doing on it. So um, there's kind of that that kind of uh, thing. It's it's a lot. Plus, I have to guarantee the actors if I bring in somebody like Armin, I got to tell them that, hey, I uh, I'll pay you this amount of money, you know. And so then I got to make sure I got to pay it. <laughs> yeah, I think there is. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Clayton. Yay. Uh, oh, happy Christmas to you, John. Good for you. So um, I'm going to put out a newsletter in, in a few hours. I have to go finish it. But I would love for you to make sure you look for it today. Look in your spam folders if you've signed up for it. And um, do not do not unsubscribe. I know I always get so mystified by that because when I um, uh, people sign up and then they get one newsletter and then they unsubscribe or something, it's so weird. So don't unsubscribe. You can delete the newsletter if it's not interesting, but there's always something different coming. And you may notice that Mieta, Claudia, me, and Billy Butler, kind of random, but we're all on the same you know, we're all using my my um, email system. So thank you, Patricia, and you as well. Um, so, you know, there's a, there's a lot going on for us and we want to make sure. Oh, thank you so much, Dan. How sweet of you. Um, you know, we want to make sure that you, you hang in there. And, um, I, you know, I, I do my best. I do my best. <laughs> and sometimes I'm talking about personal growth and that might not be your thing. So just delete it and wait for the travel one to come around or wait for the fan one to come around. I mean, there's always something coming around, right? And I know our email inboxes are just slammed. Boy, I get it. But I'm going to, I'm putting in a pitch for me. So please do not unsubscribe or tell, or, or tell me I'm being spammy because I'm not being spammy. Um, oh, thanks, Carol. She just bought, Carol just bought a ticket to Armin. Thanks, Carol. Woohoo! I love it. <laughs> PayPal pings me when I sell a ticket. Yay! Um, can let's see. If you go to b5events.com or if you go to questretreats.com, Patricia, there should be a pop-up box, you know, so to sign up for the newsletters. I thought there was thanks, Richard. See, he likes them. Um, I thought there was one on the Facebook page too. It's like there's a sign-up page. Um Right, the B5 channel, I know they don't appear here, right? I think, I don't know why. I don't know why, I don't, it, it is different conversation thread. I don't know why. I'm using StreamYard so that I can effectively post in several different places. So it's, it's on the fan page, it's on the B5 events page and it's on the YouTube channel. Um, so who knows? But I do need to have, you know, we are trying to boost all this stuff so that everybody can can enjoy. Thanks, Jan. Have a nice, have a nice evening where you are. Uh yeah, yeah. No, I guess not. I don't, I don't, they don't give me that option to combine the comments. So I and I and maybe because this is this page is a lot bigger. Uh, but make sure you like the pages because that helps and that will that'll make sure you are more likely to see our posts. You're more likely to see uh, when I'm live. Um, you won't be notified at all if you don't like them. So uh, I hope I hope you do. <laughs> Thanks, Dwayne. I, I mean, I, I kind of just throw up my hands <laughs> when it comes to tech stuff. <laughs> we do the best we can. Oh, thanks, Lester. You're the best. You can't see three chats and talk. Mm. 
Right, that's true. Uh, hey, Neil. Neil is my dear friend in London, Fab and Healthy. Trying. Put on. I've got my extra my extra COVID pounds. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Oh, you're so sweet. That's good because I've spent all this money, so I'm really hoping you guys don't. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Alec. Thank you. I'll send you, I'll send you the, I have a free one and I have a paid one. I'll send it to you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, the free one is in Africa. What do we call it? What did we say, Sarah? Oh, she, she signed off. So I think we called it a travelogue, an Africa travelogue, because I'm going to be taking a group eventually to Africa, probably in 2022, early 2022. I don't think 2021 is going to come together fast enough. Um, that's awesome, Alec. I love it. All right, I'll give you some stuff to share. So that that one is free, and that's on Sunday. And then um, Armin Shimmerman is um, doing an event with us, and he's going to coach people on on Shakespeare. Won't that be fun? So uh, that's December twelfth. All right, I better write this down so I don't forget to to send you stuff, Alec. I didn't sleep well last night. I am tired. Um, never been to Africa. We're, this is Botswana too, which is an amazing place. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to write that down because I don't know what the fuck problem is there. Uh, no, no sign up box. Um, B5.com, B5events.com. All right. Team has let me down. Well, I don't think we're going to get any vaccines by the end of December. Um, they may start putting them out there. Um, it, 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 no, it's not a photo safari. It's not a gun safari. I mean, we're not. We're we're there to to love the land and appreciate the animals. Uh, uh, but I'm not. The, a photo safari is really specific because of how you how you go into the bush and and the time you take and we're not doing that obviously it's a lot of a lot of i mean I, from my last one i've got so many pictures um there's tons of time to take pictures but we're not doing it just for photographers that's a very different uh focus if you will but uh, i mean the animals we saw in the pictures i have are amazing Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's being super helpful. Avery is being super helpful. You have to scroll a bit. It should be above the fold. Um, I can't keep track of everything. It should be above the fold. You know what I mean, Avery? But that's not um, in Armin's book. So I love Armin and I'm we're, we are putting out that. Uh, I'll, uh, only if you go, Ed, then we'll feed the lions. <laughs> uh, January was the I don't know what that means. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's what else did I want to say? Join my Patreon page, guys. If you are interested at all, or if you find yourself buying tickets to these events, just join at the thirty-five dollar level. That's the Elven Magic Master level, and then uh, you get a ticket every month to the events, it's already in there. Yeah. Um, it, Kevin, they have to go through a protocol and that takes a certain amount of time. I mean, they're testing like crazy right now. So get, I don't know, would you Would you guys be interested in being a COVID tester? No, it's a big no for me. But what they do is you cannot be sick and you have to be tested really clean. You cannot have any um, stuff going on as far as being sick. So then they give you the vaccine and then they give you COVID. <laughs> to see if you get sick. <laughs> <laughs> to sign up for what, Patricia? We've been talking a lot of things about a lot of things. Is that the Patreon? I think Avery just posted the Patreon, Patricia, if that's what you're talking about. It's patreon.com backslash Patricia Tallman, or is that forward slash? I don't know what the fuck that is. You know what it is. Yes, then absolutely go. No, I'm in, I'm not in a group that that I think it that I I don't mind getting a vaccine once it's tested, but I'm not going to be a guinea pig. I'll, I'd be a guinea pig for a lot of other things, but not for this. 
Uh, you can sign, uh, never been asked to be a guinea pig. You can sign up. Just look at it. Um, just look for it. Just look online. Just Google it. They're, they're looking for testers all over the place. Uh, already tested by getting it or no. Yeah, you can't. You, they wouldn't want you. You can't have had it and you can't have it now because they want people who've never had it and then they're going to give it to you. <laughs> uh, uh, mm, yeah. Uh, well, thank you, Victoria. I'd be really excited to see you there. And um, slash, thanks, Doug. Are, am I offering what? Yeah. Uh, are, am I planning a tour on certain meet and greet events soon? Do you mean like, uh, uh, oh, my newsletter. Um, Avery? Can you find a place where people can sign up? I, I gotta, obviously I'm gonna have to fix this. If people are not being able to sign up, we're, what the hell? Can you look around and see if there's a good place like for Patricia to sign up for the newsletter? Um, that's really frustrating for me. It's just, I, I can't even tell you. Um, it, it should be on the Facebook page, Patricia. You're not seeing it. God damn it. Um, what was I going to say? Tour, meet and greet. I'm not going anywhere until I can get a vaccine. So does that answer your question, John? Um, and I'm not taking people out on a trip without vaccines. I don't want anyone getting sick. They just wait for some portion of the test to get it naturally. They do. Is that something else? Because the one we saw, um, Glenn and I saw, was they give it to you. They try to give it to you. They expose you to it. However, that whatever that means. Oh, good. Uh, well, that, that's a that's a good one. The one we saw, they are going to expose you to COVID, which makes sense because they got to know if you're going to get it or not. Oh, thank you. You can select which specific, okay, Avery posted. Patricia, do you see what Avery just posted? Good, that's so awesome. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really neat. Yeah, that's actually, it's a really good point, Akira. Yeah, it, it, it's um, also really great if they're going to, if you get sick and then they're going to take care of you, if they'll foot the bill. That's not a bad thing either, right? After the pandemic's over. Yeah, yeah, we'll all get back. We'll get back out there. Um, it depends on if you have insurance or not, Kevin. Some of us don't have insurance. So yeah, we'd have to pay for it. I, but I really don't know how they're going to set that up. That has not been uh, disclosed. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, of course, well, I, I think that people will go back out and, and enjoy, um, you know, having fun at conventions and seeing each other and, and hanging out with you guys. I mean, I'm very much look forward to that. But it's... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we're all going to be really happy to be able to go out and see each other and do things. I appreciate that now, isn't it? 40 bucks for the vaccine? That's nothing. That's fantastic. Thanks, John. Hi, Eric. Yeah, so um, Avery's been posting stuff for us, and um, you can um, – Sign up for the Africa travelogue that's going to be on Sunday live, or you'll get the replay later. And once you're on the list, you'll um, know when we finally do get that trip up. And then, which will probably be about a year, but you'll know because there's only going to be like 10 or 12 spots. And, uh, uh, and, and well, I always offer an early bird for those to sign up. So how it works is, you know, I got to put deposits down and everything. So I, I get my groups, I give them a big discount. So they, pay up front first and then I can use that money to put down for the hotels and the rentals and all the things that I got to book. So um, 
it works out really well. I got to hang in there with you. I'm happy to hang in there with you, Joanna. It should be free to everyone. Ha! More you, not in the United States of America. When has healthcare ever been free? Should be, but it's not. Oh, something just happened. Let me just do that. <laughs> oh, it's over here now. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, you guys have better healthcare, so it's, that works. Um, yeah. I'm having, there we go. Ooh, I'm, my screen is skipping around. I agree. I agree. Uh, oh, that's really smart. So with the, uh, Neil saying with the Oxnard vaccine, they expose you to an altered version that can't replicate, but triggers your immune system to produce the antibodies to spike protein. So it's safe in the sense you won't get the virus. So fucking smart. That's great. I will, I love Canadians. I will never move to Canada. Way too cold. Rusty. I've missed you. I was out yesterday and I saw something and I thought I have to get that for Rusty. It's his Christmas present. You probably know what I'm talking about. Do you want it? You want me to get it for you? Or do you already have it? Or are you sick of those? Nobody wants us. I'm over 52, so it's gonna be it would be really hard for me to emigrate. I don't really want to emigrate. I love I love oh master list of links. You're a mistress of master. My mistress of Oxford University. That's awesome. Yeah. I love well, I do, and I've been to Canada many times. I love visiting. I just couldn't live there because I would freeze my tits off. You know. Okay. <laughs> Rusty, that's awesome. Okay. Sometimes people keep getting you the same thing because they think you like it and you've 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 moved on, you know. I don't want to be that person for you. So, yes, because I are you going back to Hawaii, Victoria? When do you go back? We want you. Oh. I just as long as I can travel, I'll be okay. If I can just keep traveling. So then everything is fine. I can I can go to New Zealand for the winter here and I can go to Hawaii and I can go to the UK. Scotland and Africa are my first trips up. And I'll also put together another New Zealand trip. And I would like to do, um, uh -uh, Rusty, I miss you so much. Wow, I'm glad you're doing okay. You guys are healthy, I hope. Um, so... What was I going to say? Okay, the trips that are that I'll plan first. And I wanted to do, I would love to know if you guys are interested in doing a Hawaii trip. Those who, uh, if I go to Hawaii, what I would combine it with, um, with it being kind of a workshop, like a personal growth workshop. Oh, you just got home. Oh, good. 30 hours ago. Do you have to quarantine, Victoria? Scotland's coming. Scotland's, yeah, I, I'm so excited about that, doing the Scotland one. Well, you know, that's what where I was when the pandemic hit. And we ended up staying three more weeks in Scotland because we couldn't get a flight home. But it turned out to be awesome. Yes, Kevin, I keep telling you. <laughs> I did. You ask me this every time and I keep telling you, yes. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, Mark. It's fucking crazy. I don't understand that. I think I, I admire people who can manage the cold like that. I grew up in Chicago. <laughs> and so I'm very familiar with terrible freezing temperatures. I have no desire to ever live in that again. Uh, well. Um, so. Uh, oh, no, it's fine. I've spent a lot of time in Hawaii. I'm fine. Uh, yeah. So get on my newsletter list. I should probably, um, <laughs> so cute. Kevin's so cute. Oh, you're adorable. Um, okay. I kind of, I've, I've talked enough. I, I, I just wanted to, um, say happy Thanksgiving and 
um, sign up and participate, stay connected, you know, connect with some friends over this over and friends and family over this weekend, even if you're not in the U S because of Thanksgiving, but just connect to some people and try to see if you can't make their day a little better. <gasps> Patricia it worked. Yay. Phew. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Hawaii is exceptional. And so that's something I just want to do for me is to go back to Hawaii and then have a, have a, uh, some kind of a personal growth time. And, um, uh, for those that are into it and we would meditate every day and we'd go out and do something, obviously every day, sit on the beach and maybe also work on a project that you want to work on, whether it's a writing project or something you're creating. So we'd have some time together. Um, I would just keep you all focused on, on something you want to do. I, I just find those kinds of experiences pretty special. Um, I'm Scotch Irish, so I get it. But I think it's sunscreen and I wear um, rash guards and stuff just to keep myself protected from the sun. Yeah, have a safe and happy holiday. Don't get or give COVID to anyone. Be very safe. And, and let's get through this time because just a few more months and we'll have a vaccine and we'll be good, you know, and then we can, but it's not worth getting this thing. Not worth it. All right, sweethearts, be well. Um, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, and you get to be home and stay home. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. It's, I could sit here all day and talk to you guys, but I better not. So, uh, no, Brent, I don't. I, exactly. I kind of just pop in when I can. So it might help if you like the page, you know, you have to go look on, I'll look on the Facebook page and like it because if you like the page, then it will tell you, you'll get a notification when I go live. And I would really appreciate it if you like the page anyway, because it helps me. It helps with the algorithm in my, um, and, and it helps me. So liking the, the Patricia Tallman page and the B5 events page really help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. Always you guys. Um, I'm really trying to give back to you. I think, you know, that I'm really trying to put some stuff back out there and do free things as well as saying buy tickets to the things that I'm putting on so that I can afford everything else. <laughs> Armin Shimmerman, December 12th, buy a ticket, buy a ticket, share it with friends, share, share in the groups that you're in, share with all your, you know, your DS9 groups or your Star Trek groups. People will, will appreciate that if you do that. And the more of us that share it, the more likely that people will actually see it and buy a ticket. You got to share and the people have got to see things like 12 times before they'll actually buy it. So the more times, you know, people are sharing and talking about it, then we actually get there. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your help. And um, I'll, to, I'll, I'll talk to you soon, probably over the weekend at some point. Well, oh, and Sunday, Sunday is the Africa Travelogue. So come and, and do that. Come and join us for that. All right. See you later. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. You're the best. <laughs>